Hi guys, welcome to another studio vlog. I'm here with my Moana hair, as someone commented, and my coffee. It's Wednesday, Nick and I just got back from visiting my parents yesterday, last night actually, so I'm like extremely tired. And since we had such a long weekend, now this week I have to get like a bunch of work done today, tomorrow, Friday, because I'm launching the DIY kit this Saturday and I have to catch up on a bunch of orders. I actually had a lot of orders over the weekend after I posted my last studio vlog, so thank you guys for any of you guys that, I guess, watched my video and decided to support my Etsy shops. And since I have a five-day turnaround, now all of those are due on Friday too, so we need to get cracking with this week. Got a lot of stuff to do. I just got this super cute match striker in from It's Okay Clay and she was nice enough to include the matches that work with it. They're like the strike anywhere friendly matches. But yeah, if you want to check her out, her shop name is It's Okay Clay. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Come on. Woo! I'm gonna burn myself. I need the GoPro. No, burn. Come on, candle. Burn. <laughs> yes, that was an epic fail. Now I need to go save the match. <laughs> oh my gosh, it feels like a Monday. Okay, this is probably gonna take me a while, so I need to peel them, scratch them, glue them. The reason there's so many, like I do have some shop orders, but I also have a wholesale order, so I'll see you guys in a couple hours. are perfect are they okay Actually, this one's fine what happened to this one the knife is messed up what what is this look at this oh okay that one's bad, that one's bad. <laughs> can, you, can i cut this with the scissors um you're not very good at using scissors was this your first one is that your first try wait i am wait you've only done one Wait, that. what is the black on this one? I just fixed that one. The guideline is on it. Oh gosh. You need some practice. Look at the one I just fixed. Stop. <laughs> See that? Chico, why are you in here, buddy? <laughs> oh, wait, you cut this? That's actually pretty good. I know. <laughs> Don't mess them up. I'm gonna do them all at the same time. No. This is the quick way. No, that cutter can't handle that. Wait, why don't I just do it with scissors the whole time? Because you can't cut straight. Watch and learn, subscribe. Line, line it up. Line it up right. Oh my god, why are you so aggressive? <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> do you see any black lines? Nope. Look at that one. <laughs> and then you go like this. 
No. No, this one's actually good. No. No, I'm telling no. you. No. I did it for the first one. Nick. Yeah, That's and how I... many did you fuck up? Only one. Nick. Yeah, let me just Look try how once. bad this one is because you did once, that. Let me try once and then... Look at this one. And then we can discuss. <laughs> you have to hold them perfectly. You have to hold them tight. I don't have space for the guillotine one. Inspect those. Okay. These are pretty good. Chico. Chic. <laughs> Thank you, babe. <laughs> Should I do six inches or just like the length of the thing for extra six, six and a half? I just do the, do the length of the thing, it would be easier. Okay. Oh, is it that hard to cut? No, I think I just held it badly. Yeah. You have to use like a certain part of the scissors. I was gonna engrave them, but I haven't had a chance to to do that.
You want to say hi? <laughs> hi, YouTube. Welcome back to Tana Makes. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching Tana Makes. A quick little overview of the kit. All of the pairs of earrings are going to come with, well, with the exception of this one because this is silver, so I want everything to be silver. But the other two earrings, they're going to come with the option to make them with gold findings or silver findings. Like this one as well, you can make them with the gold findings or the silver findings. Also, I made the macrame ones with this rust cord and this mustard cord, but I'm going to be including enough pieces of sage cord, rust cord, and mustard cord so that you can mix and match the cord however you want. Again, the only things that you need for the kit are paint and a paintbrush, scissors, and pliers, the pliers so that you can put all of the jump rings on, the scissors so that you can give the macrame cord a trim once you've looped them through, and then the paint to paint your dangle leaf earrings, whatever color you want. And the earrings do come engraved with the little veins on them. And what I did on mine was just use a really wet paintbrush so that the paint was more like a stain on the wood and then the veins show through really well. If you're watching this video, that means that the kits are already available, so I hope you guys like them. They'll come with a step-by-step -step instruction guide, and my last studio vlog basically showed you how to make them from start to finish, so that should help you a lot as well. I figured I'd show them on. I forgot I never modeled them. And then here's the dangle leaf one. So yeah, I hope you guys like these. Let me know down in the comments below if you're getting a kit. And sometime in the future, I'll probably be releasing just this one for purchase if you don't want to make them yourselves. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week with another studio vlog. Bye.